This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso. We're live on three. Thanks for choosing us on this Wednesday morning. Now, before the break, show, Marco was experiencing well, all his fragrances. Apparently, he's the expert, but I have a real expert in our studio. Show, Marco is still with us. Tammy Fraser, who is a perfumer, is joining us in our studio this morning. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Tammy, I've met you before, and I'm absolutely intrigued by your, your choice of job. What inspired you to become a perfumer? Alana, it was literally a light bulb moment. So I was living overseas and I decided, I knew I wanted to come home, but I didn't really know what I wanted to do. And I was having lunch with friends and the topic of fragrance came up. And it just, it hit me. This is what I need to do for the rest of my life. It was literally a light bulb moment. Tell me about your process. I mean, how do you find fragrances? So I decided to do things differently and I travel to the raw materials and source them directly from the farmers around the world. And then that really informs and inspires the fragrances that I compose. Now, it smells, and I said it to Katleho earlier, it, yeah. it conjures up, you know, different memories or it reminds you of stuff. Uh, it even has a perception of experiences that you've had before. You know, I, I have certain smells that, I, that reminds me of certain things. Yeah. You just did an interesting project, I'm told, in yes. Mauritius. Tell me about that. So this was quite different to, to creating a signature fragrance for an individual because I was creating one for a hotel. So what we try and do is create an experience rather than something that you apply to your skin. And literally, I go and immerse myself in the space, spend time there, talk to all the people that work in the space, things from the chef to housekeeping, really experience the spa, experience the lifestyle of the place in Mauritius. And then I hired a car and just traveled around the island and just got a feeling for the island itself. And then really came back to start taking photos and taking those visual cues. And from that, come up with a, a fragrance that's inspired by the place for for people to really recognize and remember that place afterwards. So it's very different to creating a fragrance for an individual person. Now, speaking of an individual person, we have one of the newest and freshest smelling faces of Nabiak in our studio. Sean Marco is joining us. Now, I, I almost look at you and think that you're a, a perfume expert yourself. We talked about fragrances before the break. Tell me and just touch on it again. In terms of Nabiak over the weekend, what are we experiencing? Well, Novik is a fun traveling show. It's a traveling show, a, well, a lifestyle show with a, with a main aim on traveling um, and activities. Doen dinge vir jou aftype. Doen dinge vir jou aftype. Yeah. Wat se geure bring jy hierdie Novik vir ons? Well, hierdie Novik het ek na die Freigrens Rue toe gegaan. Dit poort hierdie Novik op te kom. Um, dit, was a, ja, dit was a great ervaring gewees. Um, in Mosselbaar en soan. Ek het nou net vir Katlegge gesê wat die Freigrens Rue. Dit is ekke blomme langs die paad en daar is fietsen en... Fascinerend, eh? Mm. Now, tell me, I mean, Sean Marco went and on this fragrance route. What are some of the trends of South Africans? Are we quite conservative when it comes to choosing our perfumes? I mean, what are the things that you mix up in your kitchen, in your potion room? You know, what do you make for South Africans? Well, exactly. So South Africans are still very conservative when it comes to purchasing fragrances. We like to still choose and have faith in the international brands, but there's this undercurrent of people that are quite interested in design and approach it from that perspective. So I have individual people that come to me and create a fragrance with me directly because they're curious about the raw materials that we have from things like Buhu to Cape wow. Snowbush, which is my favorite that grows in Franschhoek. Why do people want to smell nice? You know, I used to think it was quite complicated, but it's just as simple as wanting to feel good, I wanting to have that. confidence in yourself. Oh, yeah. We want to feel good. Yeah. Yeah. Michael, you good for me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I want to feel good too. That's <laughs> nice. That is so nice. Show <laughs> Marco yeah. in our studio from Naviak. You can catch him on SABC. Come give me the time again. SABC 3 on 7 uur, Saturday Okay. Yeah. Geniet jy your job? Yes, I do. Nee. Ja, jullie zijn mooi. Allemaal van jullie zijn beeldschoon. Jullie zijn allemaal zeker. Kijk wie praat. Kijk wie praat. Tammy, thanks yeah. for joining us. On <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, thanks for joining us this morning. See so you at your perfume yeah. shop. Do you call it that? A yes. Perfumery. It's a factory. It's a factory. Okay. <laughs> See you at the factory. Well, there's lots more happening on our Feel Good Breakfast show. Our lifestyles are packed with responsibilities, and there's so much happening around us.